Hey, how are y'all doing today? So, Revolve re released their year-end quarterly report for 2020. And it's a great one, I gotta say, simply. <laughs> now, as you can see, the stock reaction to it, a 9% gain, making this stock around $40 after the trading hours. And I'm here to discuss about what exactly happened in the report and what really caused all this big increase in its stock price. So, give you some little bit of background information. I started investing in Revolve around the pandemic times, around I think May when I bought in. At that time, it was like $13 in all, and I felt this is one of the premier retailers in this upcoming decade. And so I thought at that price, it was just too good to not buy any. So I bought in and so far it's been treating us really well now let's go to the main highlight and main spotlight of today's video we're going to look at the report okay and as you can see from analysis right here analysis they predict an average estimate of 135 million in their revenue and 11 cents in earnings okay so let's check out the earnings first and let's go let's check it out Okay, our highly profitable fourth quarter capped the year of record net income and cash flow generation achieved despite the challenging coronavirus. Our 2020 results are true testament to our team's ability, highlighted by 57 million in net income and 74 million operating cash flow. Ooh, okay, representing year over year increases of approximately 60% on both measures. Wow, that's a great comeback and a great improvement. That showed that they're thriving during this coronavirus times and they are a company that exactly knows what they're doing. Okay, that's a lot of net income, okay? Okay, we believe Revolve is well positioned to benefit from the reopening of economy, which will enable our customers to fully enjoy the active social lifestyle she loves. And has come to associate with the brand Revolve. With our cash positioning more than double during 2020 and a clean inventory as we go into 2021, we're focused on capitalizing on exciting opportunities ahead. All spoken from Michael Ment, the, the co-CEO of this company. Overall, hearing from this opening intro, it's very optimistic and it feels like it's a super exciting quarter of results that they've put out. Now, let's check out net sales. $140 million, yes, beating estimates of $135 million. It's closer to the higher estimates. Good job for that. And compared to year over year, about 5% drop, which is a hey, super terrific already. A lot of companies would be so jealous of this growth, okay? And then you also look at their net income, like they, like they said, it more than doubled, okay? That means more of their sales are actually coming down into their income, in their net income. And that probably is due to their, let's check out why, okay? So their gross margin, okay? And more net income is due to what? Benefit, benefited from improved inventory dynamics that contributed to year over year increase in the percentage of net sales at a full price so that means more of the products are being sold at a higher price at full price and lesser discounts okay partially offset by lower contributions okay so mainly it's just they didn't do much discounts right? and there's still lots of customers buying into it okay that's ph phenomenal okay that shows to me that there's so much customer loyalty for this brand itself next up we're gonna look at their active customers let's see how it grew or changed year over year so it's a bit of decrease but relatively the same over year in year same as you know the amount of orders placed and the average you know purchase for each customer down a bit you know year over year customers tend to spend not as much and tend to save money that is fine they're closer to the 2019 levels which I'm pretty satisfied with already but this net sales all right beating estimates terrific as well as their net income that's what really really matter most of the revenue is now going to the net income okay that is impressive 
Now, when I think about Revolve as a gr group, it's it's terrific in its in its no products. Honestly, uh, they use lots of Instagram influencers and all to promote their products. There's always a demand, no matter what. It's hard to think that in the next five to ten years, this won't be even a bigger. This will be even a bigger company. Okay, this this there's always a great demand, and I don't see this changing. I see it just continuing, continuing to do well in this industry. Okay, one of the premier retail companies that I love. Okay, and so besides that, let's see what else do you want to look at. Okay, earnings per share was 0.26. 26 cents year over year increase of 117 percent analysts predicted about 11 cents okay even beating the higher estimates Whew. okay and then you also want to take a look at their net sales commentary especially the international sales okay international sales increased 24 percent year over year I think in the last few re reports that I did for revolve I wanted to see much of a stronger approach in their international markets and as you can see here in the last quarter it's done it's done it it's improved 24 percent year over year even outperforming their north american market oh wow and the north american market declined for about 10 percent year over year international strength was based more in australia canada china and mid east middle east each delivering strong double-digit double digit growth in net sales. So not only is Revolve branching out into more international markets, you know, they're trying to not be just successful in America, but also internationally, you know, getting their brand more power and more awareness. That's, that's what a retailer should do. <laughs> you know, if you're successful in your own hometown, branch out and see how far you can get. And that, that way you can bring in more revenue as well. Okay, and really besides that, there seems to be a net sales increase, low digit percentage year over year during this year, January until now. Okay, and this improvement in trend compared to the year over year decline reported for the fourth quarter reflects continued strong growth in international markets and improved results in, the, in America. Mm. Yeah, better 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 results and so far all I gotta all I gotta say is I'm super impressed by what they have done and every quarter they would just beat an analyst estimates not by like a lot but like actually by some quarters by a lot but also they consistently beat it I mean analysts continue to underestimate this retail you can say beauty in a way which is why I am happily holding my shares actually i'm not selling them at all okay and here's net sales and all so overall everything is very good look at the assets they've they've had so much cash now especially thanks to their net income and all and look at their debt <laughs> so less they can pay it off right now all with cash no long-term or even short-term debt that's why I sleep well at night knowing this company is going to be phenomenal in the future and I'm not going to lose any money in the future from this. So yeah, I, that's what I wanted to say about this report. Uh, it's not certainly one of their best because their best has been like even more terrific than this, but this is definitely like a grade report. Okay, if I were to be a teacher and grade them, and this justifies, this supports the 9% gain, okay, after hours, okay? And so, if you are an investor, I hope you uh, continue to hold your stock. You know, I don't see a reason to sell out now unless you really need the money for something else. But uh, what do you all think about this company? Do you buy things from this company? Do you know about it? You know, how do you know about it? Is it through your girlfriends and all and all? So, I'm just curious about that and... I'm just hap I'm just so happy that I'm a part of this company and unfortunately I didn't invest enough money, you know. That's the only thing that I regretted, okay? Not investing enough money. But so far, I love the results. I love what this company is doing and I'll continue to love this company in this future as well. So, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Hope y'all have a great day and
See y'all in the next report.